What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more acid trance. Hello, Luca. I apologize. I have to move you to this chair. Uh, yeah, we're going to listen to a tune that is originally, I believe, from 98. Okay, so we're going to listen to a track by DJ Looney Tune. Uh, but we're going to listen to the mic, which is sort of stylized as an acronym M period I period K period E period. Um, and it actually refers to the guy who goes by Push, um, sort of, you know, his most famous name. He produced under a number of names over the years, but Push is by far his most famous alias, and that's sort of like epic, kind of late 90s, early 2000s style trance. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna listen to a remix he did of the Looney Tune track Workstation. Now, the original Workstation vinyl, which was on Bonsai, came out in 97. As far as I can tell, uh, Mike, aka Push, uh, did two different remixes. One's called like Mike's De Work Remix, uh, and that came out the same time as the original, 97. As far as I can tell, the version we're going to listen to, which is called the Mike's Energize Remix, the first time that one showed up was on a remix vinyl that came out a year later, 98. And then there's been a number of sort of different releases in different places um, of that original workstation, like remix uh, vinyl. And ultimately, I think like 03, there's another version. But bottom line, fast forward many years later, Bonsai was doing this series of classics EP, um, EPs, I should say. And one of the ones they chose to do was the workstation, like Mike's Energized remix, uh, which I think is by far the best mix. The other version by Mike is good, the Work de Remix, um, but it's not on the same level as this one. So yeah. Here's the personal story. So I have a friend, uh, his name is Billy. Um, we haven't mixed the set together in several years. I, like, I'm not even sure if he lives in Southern California anymore. And if you end up seeing this, shout out to you, man. Uh, but for a while, I was living in Fullerton, and I forget what city he lived in, but he was very close to Fullerton. And once we sort of found out on Facebook, oh, you mix trance, like vinyl? Yeah, okay, I mix trance vinyl. We ended up doing a series of back-to-back -back mixes, which if you don't know, it sort of means like, you take turns, like you'll mix two or three records and then the other guy will jump on and mix two or three records and you sort of go back and forth. It's different than a two by four set where there's literally two mixers and four turntables. Um, but this is a, the back to back set. You just kind of take turns going on the same <clears throat> setup. So we recorded a number of those mixes over the course of like two years, I think. There's like five of them. Um, and there was one set uh, where he used the energized remix of the workstation track. Now, we weren't really like, you know, pouring over each other's records. We were just like, I'm gonna play this and this, and okay, he's playing that. So then we recorded the mix, and then over time, I would listen to the back-to-back back -back sets we had done, and one of them, he used this track, although, again, it was the older version. It was, you know, like the 98 vinyl. Um, and I was like, man, that is a fucking killer tune. And it annoyed me because now it was months later. And I think like, you know, I hadn't uh, mixed another set with him since then. Uh, and I was like, damn, I forgot to ask him what track that is. Cause I'd really like to get that track. And then, you know, on Facebook, I'm not on there like all that often. I'll sort of post an article and then I'll just, you know, kind of go do other things. And these days I'm on YouTube most of the time. So I haven't talked to him in a while, and my friend Tassos, who I talk to about a lot of different music, um, especially trance and techno and acid music, but other stuff as well, as well as like movies and TV shows. Um, but I was like, hey man, this is a long shot, but I did a back-to-back -back mix with a fellow trans DJ years back. There's always been a tune that he used that I really, really enjoy, but I've never known what it is. Just give the mix a listen. Tell me if you know what it is. Sure enough, like 10 minutes later, he messaged me. Yeah, I think I know what that is. I think it's the Mike Energize remix of Workstation by Looney Tune. Sure enough, he was right. And in the video on YouTube that Bonsai has up, they put a link to a 10-inch vinyl that they had put out in 2022, or sorry, 2021. Um, so yeah, they eventually started repressing some classic Bonsai trance records, but in like a modern format, and they did it on a 10 inch, as you can tell, this is a smaller record. So um, yeah, what, like I discovered what the tune was within like 10 minutes of asking my friend, and then discovered that within like a year before we were having this conversation, they had just uh, repressed a sort of uh, reissue and it's actually a remastered version so bottom line it was a really cool thing it was a tune that for five or six years it was annoying me because man i love that track i don't even know where to look i don't know the artist i don't know anything about it um and again like i wasn't in like regular conversation with my uh dj friend by this point so i didn't have like the ability to say hey can you tell me what track that is um, so again, shout out to Billy, shout out to Tassos, shout out to Bonsai, and shout out to Looney Tune and Mike, aka Push. 
And indeed, as you can see, I literally just got this, so I have to take it out of the shrink wrap. And you know, I have to say, shrink wrap is a funny thing. You appreciate its purpose, but like, when it's so vacuum sealed that you literally can't get a purchase on it at all, it is quite annoying. Thankfully, this is not the worst that I've encountered. Um, but yeah, shrink wrap, it's, it's sort of a double-edged sword. I like it, and then I hate it when I have to take it off. In any case, uh, as I said, this is a 10-inch record, which I always um, am amused by records that are slightly like non-standard size. Um, but yeah, let's see if it's... I think it's just a plain black vinyl. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, I think it's just a plain black vinyl. And indeed it is. Uh, and alright, so this is, as I said, uh, the MIC, which is like, again, stylized as an acronym, the Energize Remix, which has been remastered uh, the original is by Looney Tune, and it's on Bonsai Records, which, you know, it's pretty much a very classic, iconic logo and label within the world of 90s trance, especially like 90s hard trance of the like first half of the decade, maybe? But here we go, Mike's Energized Remix of Works. You might recognize if you have checked out my most recent Luca video this track. She was napping to this tune yesterday. That's sort of rhythmic plink. It's a big element in this track.
seriously a brilliant tune and it's one that I did not know uh, back in the day you know it's like it's been around for almost 25 years now um, more than 25 years what am I saying uh, it came out 97 or that's right that this version was 98 see I'm still sort of learning this one um, but yeah basically it's been about 25 years but I've only known about it for maybe the last six or seven um, and yeah ultimately it's a tune that I didn't know the name of or who it was by until maybe two weeks ago 
Uh, so yeah, once again, shout out to Billy for using this in one of our sets, and eventually, like, it, you know, it took me a week or so, because when he would be playing his records, I'd be sort of looking through my collection, what am I going to play next, what am I going to play next? So, you know, I didn't get to really appreciate some of the tracks he was playing, and it was only in the following weeks when I was listening to the sets, that it was like, damn, that's a really good tune. And in a couple of cases, it's like, oh, okay, I do know what that one is, or, you know, even one or two cases, I actually have the record myself. But that's one that once I heard it, I was like, damn, not only is this a brilliant tune, I don't know nothing about this. Um, so yeah, shout out to him, shout out to Tassos for helping me uh, figure out what it was, shout out to Bonsai for the release, especially the, you know, 2021 uh, reissue release. I love that some of these labels, um, and it's not just trance, like Hardcore and some other labels were that like, you know, big players in the 90s scene maybe went defunct or maybe went digital only in the, the aughties and maybe even the early 2010s, but a lot of these labels have sort of come back um, in recent times, they're starting to put out records again, or maybe reissuing vinyl for older releases, so yeah. Um, I love that vinyl um, enthusiasts and DJs like myself still have um, places to go to get good tracks, old and new, on vinyl. So yeah, big ups to all the labels that are part of that. Big ups to Bonsai in this case. Let me know what you think of the track, and we'll see you next time. Peace.